Welcome to the Heat Pump Nation and the top 10 things to know about living with a heat pump. To get the most comfort and energy savings, there are a few things to know about heating and cooling with a heat pump. Number one, setting the mode of operation. Most modern heat pumps have several modes of operation. In addition to heating and cooling modes, there is a dry mode, which is perfect for dehumidifying indoor air on days when outdoor temperatures are not quite enough to use the cooling mode. Another new mode of operation is called auto, which automatically switches between heating and cooling. Auto mode works great when there are big differences between day and night temperatures. However, it doesn't work well in mild climates and may cause your heat pump to switch back and forth between the heating and cooling modes all day long. This can cause big energy bills and make rooms uncomfortable. Number two is the defrost function. Depending on which type of modern heat pump you have, you may not even notice the defrost function. However, for some, the defrost function can be confusing. This is because when outdoor temperatures are below 40 degrees, the heat pump will occasionally stop producing heat to melt ice from its outdoor surfaces. After a few minutes, it will automatically begin making heat again. Some new owners are concerned by the defrost function. There are new sounds, and you may notice water or steam coming from the heat pump. But don't be alarmed. The defrost function is normal. Be sure to let the heat pump defrost itself, as interfering can delay its return to normal heating operations. Number 3. Choosing the fan speed. Fan speed can affect comfort and energy savings, so it's recommended to start with auto fan speed. Most modern heat pumps are controlled by a computer, which will pick the best fan speed for overall energy savings. In some cases, users may want to adjust the fan speed to create more even temperatures. Number four, selecting the temperature setting. The controls on most modern heat pumps differ from older wall thermostats, so your new comfort number may be higher or lower than what you previously set for your home. The modern heat pump's computer uses the comfort number to gauge your relative comfort, but it doesn't necessarily represent the actual temperature of the room. All you need to do is find your comfort number, then enjoy the cozy heat and cool air. Number five, avoid frequent temperature adjustments. Set it and forget it. Heat pumps work best when temperature settings are left alone. Once you've found your comfort number, leave it be. Modern heat pumps use less energy when they maintain the temperature. If you prefer to set back the temperature at night or when you leave the home, a change of no more than three degrees is recommended. Number six. Get to know your backup heating sources. Sometimes, heat pump systems are designed to use secondary heat sources on extremely cold days. Ask your contractor if your system relies on backup heat from a furnace, electric heater, or baseboard heater. To avoid confusion or misuse, learn what role you have, if any, in operating the secondary heating source. Number seven, using your heat pump during severe weather. In sub-zero temperatures, freezing rain, or deep snowfall, you may need to take steps to keep your heat pump running at peak performance. To be prepared for extreme weather, ask your heating and cooling contractor what steps, if any, you need to take. For example, you may need to clear deep snow away from the outdoor unit. Number eight, clean or replace indoor filters regularly. Clean filters allow your heat pump to operate at its full potential. Clogged and dirty filters reduce airflow and limit heating and cooling performance. Ask your contractor how frequently to clean or replace your filter. You can expect to hear anywhere from monthly to twice a year. Number nine, be prepared for the new sounds associated with your heat pump. 
Modern heat pumps work differently than furnaces and other heating and cooling technology, so don't be surprised by the new sounds. However, if a new sound is steadily increasing in volume, be sure to call your contractor. Number 10. Read your owner's manual. This way you will be sure to learn about your new heat pump's many features. Also, every heat pump has specific maintenance and service requirements, and this information is important to keep your system running efficiently and reliably for years. We hope this video will help you live happily and comfortably with a heat pump. Special thanks to our sponsor, Franklin Energy, for supporting the creation of this video. If you have found this information useful, be sure to like this video, and we hope you will consider subscribing to Heat Pump Nation. And thanks for watching.